Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your uh, last half of May love reading. Generally my readings are love readings so we're just going to call it a love reading and go with that. Um, this is for May 15th through the 31st for the sign of Cancer. I do have Instago now. I do my best to get back to you within 24 hours. If it's on the weekend, then it might be a little bit more than 24 hours, but that's up to you. Uh, I mean, up to me. It's up to me. Anyway, um, and then we have the uh, the private readings, you know, with our videos. That I have a $50 option, which is 20 minutes. You wouldn't believe how much we can cover in 20 minutes. So two questions, 20 minutes, five business days. I also have a 24-hour reading. Uh, when I have slots, okay, so this is for the sign of cancer. Somebody isn't feeling confident. They may feel like they're stuck. They're not making progress. Yeah, you know, you could be being treated unfairly. You could be dealing with somebody who doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions. Could be you. Something could be going on in your life where there is some sort of... heaviness okay there's a heaviness in your life whether it's another person or something that you're dealing with that is hindering your progress okay it feels as though somebody somebody could be lie, lying okay with a justice card reverse you could be dealing with some lies there could be even some legal issues that are holding you back Ooh. So, you know, many, I mean, this is for hundreds and thousands of people. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Somebody's being tested. You are being tested right now in regards to your integrity because the justice is an integrity card. And it, in one arena of your life, there is no victory and success because somebody isn't doing the right thing. They're being tested but there's a lack of love, so we'll get more on this. This is a lack of love. There's no love here in some situation. Maybe you're not happy with with a situation, so you're trying to stall a decision. <laughs> Somebody doesn't want to make this most difficult decision, and they could be lying about it. What the hell is this? They could be lying about the love. Ooh. Okay, so, you know, you could, somebody doesn't want to be in a commitment. And whether it's you or another person, somebody is discontent. They are feeling lost. They're feeling empty inside. They're feeling, they're feeling unloved, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. Somebody is not feeling loved. And somebody now has to make a decision on how their life is going to progress forward. Okay, right now there's no victory and success in your life because you're not feeling loved. Whether that's you, this can go vice versa, okay? This could be you or the person that you're dealing with. Somebody in this dynamic is not feeling loved, okay? And it's causing somebody to feel like very, very heavy. It's like there's a lot of tension here. There's a lot of tension because there's a decision that needs to be made. And it needs to be made like pronto, okay? These are both decision cards. Somebody makes a, needs to make a most difficult decision that, you know, it may be the right thing to do to make this decision. You're going to have to make the right decision even if it hurts. And I think somebody's been stalling from making this decision because it is going to hurt. But all this stalling has been doing has been hindering your progress. Now, somebody's wanting more. Somebody wants this romance. They want more of a romance. They're looking for more, okay? It feels as though... They've been focusing on an unrealistic dream. Unrealistic dream. Okay, and it's caused a lot of discontent because the love didn't come. And I'm, I am so sorry, but that is what this is. Okay, unrealistic dream. I'm not happy. I, I didn't feel loved. I don't feel loved. You're not loving me. There's no love here. But it was a, it was a, it was a beautiful dream. It really was. It was a beautiful dream. It may have been stable and secure. 
It may have been. But it was like it was a false beginning anyway. It was chosen for the wrong reasons. And now we can't lie to ourselves about this anymore. It's unrealistic. Somebody could be moving out of the home. They've you've been stalling, or they've been stalling. You know, they may. You know, somebody could be lying about this whole situation. There's definitely some lies here. Somebody is lying, whether it's you or another person. Um, there's a lot of power struggles. There's this is the lie card. This is lies, cheating, sneaky behavior. Somebody. This is this is like sneaky P. So you're dealing with a sneaky individual, whether this is you or the other person, that has brought a lot of conflicts and tension and um, power struggles to your life. It's, and it's caused some hurt as well. So whoever this person is, he, they think they're getting away with something. They think they're getting away with it. They don't even realize how, what they're doing. They don't realize how much they're hurting you. You know? They don't because they're only thinking about themselves in this matter. They're not thinking about you. All they care about is winning. Okay? Interesting. Yikes. So, Cancer, it's like you you need to... Wow. I mean, there's so much in, the incompatibility here. There's too, mu too much fighting, too much disharmony. There's like a imbalance that, you know... There's an imbalance that has been causing a lot of insecurities. I mean, there could even be a divorce on the horizon. But the reason that somebody is staying is because of the financial assets. You know, I'm afraid to, to lose the security, the home, or the money that we have established. But it feels like... There is an opportunity for growth elsewhere if you would just cut the cord that needs to be cut, okay? Somebody needs to cut the cord that needs to be cut because right now they're, they're dealing with, it's almost like abuse. And this is like emotional abuse, like behind the scenes of abu abuse. Oh, I can't think of the word for it. Oh, son of a bitch. It's like a manipulative abuse. I mean, it's like, I'm, and I hate to use the word, you know that I do, but it's narcissistic abuse, okay? It's like somebody is totally playing down their role in this to make you feel guilty and stay in a situation that isn't abundant. You know what I mean? And like I said, this can go vice versa. The Seven of Wands reversed is... Criticism. You're dealing with somebody who's very critical. They may, you may feel like you're being attacked at times by this person, or they may feel like they're being attacked by you. There's a lot of fighting going on. Put it that way. There is a lot of bickering back and forth. There's a lot of arguments back and forth between you and another person, like back and forth, back and forth. Okay, there is. It's like this is like you're on a roller coaster with another person. They think they're getting away with some sneaky shit. They may be cheating, even they may be. You know, they think they're getting away with it, but the fact is all they're getting away with is breaking somebody's heart. Somebody's heart is being broken because somebody isn't in love with them and they're not speaking up about it. So, that's what's going on here. And I do apologize. So I feel like this is a week of coming out of the cold. Okay, you, you, can, you can come out of this spot whenever you're ready to stand up for yourself but right now you're letting somebody else do control you you're, you're not on top anymore you're being controlled by another person you're letting your own insecurities hold you back when you do have the power to to flip this card over and stand up for yourself and stop playing this tug of war game you don't need to play it you're choosing to play it you like the game or you wouldn't play And you're doing yourself an injustice by playing the game with somebody who's not in love. 
All you have to do is stand up for yourself and you ain't doing that. You're not. So I'm sorry for my tone, Cancer. But if you are looking for victory and success in your life, you are going to have to stand up for yourself. This card is victory and success upright. It is reversed. There is no victory and success in life unless you do what's right for you. But you can't let people that have left you out in the cold cause your insecurities to hold you back because that's exactly what it is. The more and more you get left out in the cold, the more insecure you get. And that's what's happened here. Therefore, whoever has robbed you of your securities, they are winning this war. When all you have to do is focus and plan and get out of it. Somebody is feeding on your insecurities. They are. So, uh, give me three cards of advice for cancer. Three cards of advice for the end of May. Ooh. So, we have Leo reversed. Strength reverse. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn upright, and we have the Ten of Swords reverse. You need to look at this as a time of liberation, a time of freedom. Yay! I'm free. I'm going to free myself from the these this lion cheat and no good piece of you know what. I'm going to free myself from this liar. Okay, I'm going to free myself from this liar who doesn't love me. Who doesn't love me. Who hasn't been loving me. Who's been fighting with me. And causing disharmony in my life. I'm going to free myself. This is advice. Free yourself from this no good, rotten, low, whatever. You know. Okay. Free yourself. Be disciplined. Do the responsible thing. Be practical. Nurture yourself. Take care of yourself. Be kind to yourself. You have the skills to take care of yourself just fine. Don't let anybody else tell you otherwise. Don't let your ego get in the way. And many times ego is what keeps people together. Okay, there's so you know what? Ego, what feeds ego? Materialistic things, assets, rejection. And somebody has been rejected, and it hurts. And the feeling of rejection keeps people stuck. How could you reject me? You need to find your strength, which has been taken from you, because it's reversed. You need to find your strength. Your willpower. Your pride. And, and you need to find the confidence that has been lost to face your fears and master your emotions in which you haven't been doing. The strength card in reverse is a person that isn't mastering their emotions. They're in denial. Too much pride. This hurts. I, rejection is like the worst. And there has been rejection. Look at it like this. This isn't rejection. This is freedom. Freedom to go find someone who sees that, that will love you. Okay, someone that will, where there won't be fights and there will be love and love, there will be potential for relationship growth. You need to free yourself from this person that is sneaking around behind your back and causing too much tension in your life. That's your advice for this week. Find your courage to do so.
gonna get you one of these and I don't look at these cards I look up when I shuffle these I'll show you what I look like right here real quick because I did my hair I look like shit I don't know if you guys can see me but I don't know if you've seen my hair I've deleted the videos but here I am I'm gonna put it back down but anyway these cards I don't look at when I shuffle I look up just so you know because I don't want to pick it, I want to, well, I do pick it, but anyway, this is for the sign of cancer. What does cancer need to know at the end of May? They need to know that they're being cheated or somebody's being cheated and they need to find the strength to do the right thing and not stop, stop ignoring it. Stop ignoring the truth of the situation, which somebody is absolutely doing. Anyway, um, oh, here it is. Look at that. Truth. Tell the truth. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Son of a bitch. Tell the truth. Integrity is the key to living an authentic life. That is your card. And I'd like to tell all of you cross watchers, keep the bashing to yourselves. This reading is for cancer. I don't want to hear what your cancer did to you. I will delete the comment and block you. All right? Talk to you later.